for our system of linear equations using graphing method in which we are going to use I'll be guiding you in using the desmos.com as a graphing calculator so first you are going to open your tab to desmos.com and find the calculator there the graphing calculator once you are there you are going to simply click on this the show list in which you are going to see numbers one two and so on and then you are to click on number one there this is where you are going to input your equation you can type in x and then for the the if you wanted to input x squared there for your equation you can click on this a to the power of two where you've got that one as the squared and then followed with plus and then if you want to input y squared so you can just simply input on the key using keyboard y or you can click on this y and then this button here as being squared and then equal to a 25 so as you can see you have there a circle uh, on that particular equation now let's now input this second equation in our system so we have y squared equal to x and then we have plus 5 so we've got those two equations as part of our system of nonlinear equations so in getting our solution here we are going to check as to which point is our graph the two graphs there are intersecting and that will be our solution of the system of nonlinear equations so let's try to find out here we have an intersection here in which our point is at 4 3 so that is our solution of our equation that's 4 3 and then the other point here is 4 negative 3 which is also part of our solution of the equation so once you say solution of our system of nonlinear equations this refers to a point in which our equations once being graphed are intersecting each other another intersection here is the negative five zero so that's another solution of our um, system of nonlinear equations so there are three solutions of our system of nonlinear equations we have negative five zero we have four three and four negative three so that is how you are going to solve your system of nonlinear equations using graphing method and featuring desmos.com application so once again this is your teacher jenny i hope you've learned something from me today saying good luck and please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video